High Five. Welcome back, guys. Jet Scott here, as always, from Scott Speed Shop. And, uh, well, today's little experiment's either going to end great and solve a lot of problems with Chrysler steering issues, or it's going to end horribly and expensively because we have a Borgensen U joint here. And, well, when you lay that on there, it's about the same length as a stock coupler. And these stock couplers, I just, I've never been a big fan of these. And this one, I even had that little spring clippy deal. It's supposed to help. It didn't. It was a waste of money. I even put a greaser in here to hold grease in it. And that works great. That's a good mod if you're going to keep this thing. But I even lost my little pin. I don't know where that went. But the idea is to get rid of this. And we've already started driving out the pin. To take it off, there's a pin right there. So this, being a 70 steering column, is a 36 spline, three-quarter shaft steering column. So we got a 36 spline, three quarter shaft end on this side, and it's a round three quarter shaft on this side. This is something you can literally just buy right off the shelf. I've test fit it on the steering box, it's gonna work. And I'm pretty sure this end is designed to be a weld on, but we're gonna pin it on, or probably just a bolt and a nut. And that should go on just like so. But we're gonna get this thing taken off, probably store it because this is kind of a special one for 70 steering column and stuff and uh, we'll do some test fitting with this before we you know get too crazy so we'll be a lot of test fitting and whatnot and well hopefully this helps someone and hopefully it works so wish me luck so we'll get dad over here i got bitch mittens on because well i don't like grease all that much so the pins drove out this is literally just gonna fall right off there's one of your blocks and we'll just put that back in there where's our spring oh there's our spring clip it appears maybe our spring clip wasn't doing its job I don't know it had a lot of slop in it had a lot of slop that's for sure oh our that was our problem our pin fell out that's supposed to be a press fit huh that's not supposed to come out like that. There's the problem. Oh well. We'll just chalk that over. This is actually kind of special, so it's bag expensive. and tag. Expensive. Yeah, these cup all these stock couplers are actually quite expensive. You had to go and find one, so I'm not gonna let that get messed up. So now that's off. That's kind of an interesting problem clean that bad boy off was that tight before yeah that was really tight so the new I wonder what loosened it up i don't know that yeah driving that old one out was nearly impossible and i probably shouldn't have or no i had to to get that new uh silicone piece on that new cover because <laughs> you gotta take that pin out or you gotta risk tearing that thing right, right, right. so that should be clean enough now or we can remove the patented bird song bitch mittens. The moment of truth. Oh yeah. Well that fits nice. It does. We can kind of figure out where we want this. That's more compact as well. That's gonna work better. That fits really snug. You think we go ahead and install it and everything, get everything mounted where you want it and then drill it in the car? I don't know if we're going to be able to drill it in the car. Or would you get lucky enough that that set screw lands right where that hole is? I don't know. That's kind of what I was, I was thinking. My plan was, I'm going to get all this stuff taken off. Uh, put the steering column back in the car. It's going to be a lot of in and out, in and out. And get everything where it wants to be as far as depth. Mark this. And then maybe have you break out the measuring tools. Because, well, you know, you can measure better than I can. Because... If it's gonna be stock length, that's where it's gonna to wanna to be, roughly. Because the hole is right there. I think that hole is gonna be. Why don't you turn that around so that the hole lines up with the hole? Well, I thought this had a hole in it. No, this end does not have a hole. That's weld on? It's supposed to be weld on, but we're not welding it on. Because I'm not ruining this shaft for this. Yeah. I'll put another hole in it or something, but I will not weld this on. 
So I guess we just need to do some test fitting. All right. Did you guys a bell. All right, so we ran into a little snag. As you can see, I have my other 70B body power steering comb out. Our manual steering shaft is too long. So we dug this guy out, took the coupler off, which is all original hardware, and this thing is tight still. And I removed a bunch of the grease out of there. The, the, I'm going to say it. <clears throat> this reproduction rebuild kit, don't bother with it. Fine and original. They fit so much better. And the pin is actually still stuck in that steering column, whereas my other one just fell right out, my reproduction stuff. So don't replace that stuff. <clears throat> so the... Uh, 70 manual which this is just any manual steering shaft for a b-body it's way too long and it's going to be sacrilegious to cut that but since this hole is potentially messed up or that pin was messed up i'm not going to verify and find out which one it is we're probably just going to cut it because it's a known column and i hate cutting it it ruins it makes it worthless but dad's going to show you what the plan is because we're going to cut and measure we got to make sure Measuring is done right. We want the end of the shaft to just protrude to this surface right here, and that we've already looked. That's that's the end of the end of the hole. So we ought to be able to get a benchmark measurement from the steering sector deepest point, not on some stupid bolt head or something. Right there, three and a half inches. When we bring our new shaft in, I'll get this coupler out of the way, bring the new shaft in, mark it at three and a half inches from where I'm at right now, and that ought to be perfect. Okay. In the word, famous words of Doc Brown. Remember oh. Doc Brown? Yeah, I just don't remember that quote, really. I don't either. It ain't quite right. But... <laughs> no. well, he did say, Great Scott. Great Scott. Yeah. yeah. Just remember, Dad, you my steering comb. I got a welder. To replace the shaft, if anybody doesn't know. If you need to replace this steering shaft, being a manual one, you'll probably spend two hundred dollars at least, if you can find it. Hold on. That's the problem. Okay, I guess rebar. Let's go chop it up. Rebar? That doesn't sound like a bad you idea. Have to stick that in so we can mark it. Oh yeah, yeah. I just felt like walking around with this thing on my shoulder like a giant. Chop it up without marking it. Well, I guess we could. Let's see. This is why Dad's doing all the tape measuring because me and a tape measure don't get along at all. Me and a pair of micrometers, perfect friends. Me and a tape measure, I can measure shit with a tape measure twenty times and I'll get twenty-one different measurements. So I don't measure shit. I just kind of eyeball it. Use your little silver paint pan. We'll go get it. That's where we're gonna cut it. We have the bandsaw too. What, whatever will be straight as cut. I think that probably work better. But the other thing I was thinking about it. The uh, once this is on here, we'll be able to drill a hole that's more appropriate size for this, because that big old honking hole is just a little bit much. So we'll cut that. Wish us luck, and I'll either be really happy here in a minute, or I'm going to be really sad and pissed off. So. You'll find out. Alrighty, well, we got the piece cut off. That took a minute. Wow, that got hot just sitting there on there, transferring the heat. So that's cut, so. No going yeah. back now. Nope, it's got a nice. It's the price of a hot rod. It's the price of trying, it's the price of trying to improve Chrysler's products, which typically never works. But the Chrysler factory stuff works great, but when you buy that repop crap, it ruins it, so. So we just, technically, I guess we didn't ruin the comb. We just got rid of the uh, cancer on it because that was okay until the rebuild. And yeah, don't do that. So now another test fit and hopefully we didn't cut this thing too short. I think it'd be a good for just drill a hole in it right now. But we can test fit her again. I'll mount this on the steering column on sector. Really? Really what? Stream close up. Nose hair cam. 
<laughs> All right, let's go, let's go do one more test fit. I'd rather just be safe. So you're missing your armpit hair. Yeah. Camera wasn't rolling, of course. We are talking about Dad was drilling. I was like, that ain't your left arm, no, that's his right arm, because that arm's still hairless, mostly. You yeah. got little baby hairs. It looks goofy. And I got no hair in my armpit, and it sticks. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you saw, we cut it and staked both sides of it. Dad drilled and tapped that. And see, it's going to have a set screw on either side, a bunch of red Loctite. And those will lock into there. And Dad feels safe with it. Still where I can see it's tack welding, but Dad put the foot down. I say no welding because this needs to come off if it needs to be serviced. So we're going to put more red Loctite on this, clean it up. Let's set up, put it in, and hopefully it's still the same size. Alrighty, so there's the finished deal. So what it is, it's a 70 manual steering shaft that we cut off the end of it because, well, the reproduction rebelled kit. We're just going to go through this one more time. That was the end of it with the hole that your big hardened pin goes through. Well, reproduction uh, hardened pin ruined that, wallered it out. Don't, I don't know how, but it did. So our steering column had a bunch of play in it. We never liked it. So bought this Borgensen U joint, which is 36 spline, three quarter shaft on this end, three quarter round on this end. And it comes with a set screw for your steering shaft or for your steering box on this end. This end's supposed to be weld on. Well, I'm not ruining this shaft any more than I already have. So I guess I could have went ahead and welded it, but I really don't want to because you can't pull this thing through the steering column how you need to if you need to service anything internally, if you need to rebuild it because this has a locking ring in here and that locking ring has to go out that way and I'm pretty sure this won't slide through that little hole right there. So the idea here is obviously we cut it and then we stake two holes in the shaft to the right length. There's a lot of measuring involved, which that's what dad's for. And then dad staked two holes this side and the op opposing side. So our 5 16th set screw can be drove through with red Loctite. And then just for extra precaution, we threw a jam nut on top of that. So if this thing comes apart, I'm meant to be dead. So, or the car's meant to wreck. So that's it. Now that's gonna take 24 hours to set. Also there's red Loctite on the round shaft to this so that ought to act like a little bit of weldy weldy It'll probably take heat to disassemble that but at least you can get it apart yeah at least it can come apart again if it needs to and then we got this jam nut which will go on the steering comb or the steering box this will probably get locked tighter on as well this is all the stuff that came with the borgensen joint so now we'll go set all this up and before we go start in the car or anything i'm gonna let all this loctite set up good so let's go put her together we don't well, we got him. Where we want him? Yeah. You know, it's true what they say. Working on the dash, there's just no way of being graceful about it. You, just, you might as well just get somewhat comfortable. Which, if anybody's ever found a way to be comfortable like this, you're probably a masochist or something like that. I don't know. You're into that leather. And, That's got big wires on it. That's probably got to go to this one. It's got a yellow. Yeah, the colors match. So that one goes there. Don't plug them in, right? Mm, starting to feel the veins popping out of my head. I'm scared to fart too. Probably wouldn't go too well. Come on. Probably should have went ahead and plugged these in first. Just gotta say it. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna get them all the way in or not. Oh God, I can fuck my eyeballs are gouging out. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, I got it. Oh, my back. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Never know how good that feels till you try to get up. Oh. Well, 
There's just one more test we got to do. See if stuff still works. I got the spark plug wires all on. Whoa, it's in gear. It's in gear, that part works. Yeah. We'll just see if it'll... Oh, I need to test if... I didn't hear no giant exhaust leaks. Did you? No. I wasn't really listening, no. Oh, I didn't hear nothing. So, the line locks, or not the line lock, but the exhaust cutouts, all that time hanging down from the jack failing, broke the wires, I think. Uh, screwed them up. I can't open wide open now. So, I saw a smoke rolling out, so I wanted to kill it. So, but it's running again. Put all those on and fired up. <coughs> Just took a minute. I didn't want to over gas it and stuff, over fuel it. I ain't been started for a long time. Yeah, she ain't been started in months. It's smoking out of the probably this residual water. Yeah, there's a shitload of water in there, I bet. All righty, guys and gals. So Jezebel is moving again. Fantastic. We can't drive it too much. God, that car looks really good right here. You know, I've been looking at it for so long on the side of the garage, it just looks derelict and gay. Mm -hmm. But just look at that body line. See, when the car's got just that right amount of rake and the GoPro's gonna mess up because of lighting. See, the right amount of rake, a body line on the charger goes up and then it kind of disappears in the door. And then you pick up this new body line and you just follow it and it comes up peaks and then it dovetails out and whoop. It's just a perfect body line. It really is. Yeah, I just love the way Jezebel looks right now. Now I see why people like the car so much. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that is a worthwhile upgrade. Take a couple hours of your day. You know, go buy that Borgensen U joint right there. And if I had the part number, I'd tell you, I might put it in a little annotation or something right now. It's about 70 bucks, I believe, but that is well worth the money. Way safer than that stock coupler. Sure took a lot of slop out of it. Oh God, it's tight now. You know, before I thought my gearbox was worn out and now it's just like butter. It's perfect, it's how it's supposed to be. Do that, absolutely do that to your car. So, are we gonna do it to your car now? Maybe. Maybe. All right, guys, well, I apologize for the wind, but we're amending this steering column video because I talked to a really good friend of mine out in St. Louis, old machinist, really knows his stuff, and uh, advised against doing the uh, set screw idea. So <clears throat> we're going to try and drill that hole straight through, and then we're going to use a shouldered bolt 
uh, shoulder will press through this shaft through here and then we'll put a nut on the back side and that'll be a lot more secure than the two set screws you said this will work but well, what's to happen is these are going to dig into the shaft with just staked holes and then it'll come loose so we're going to do the shoulder bolt deal that was dad's original plan so wish us luck Alrighty, so the hole is drilled look at that it's beautiful we got a hole now we're going to measure that find us the proper bolt for it <clears throat> get it locked tight it in and then hopefully not have to worry about this ever again which is you did i think so and we'll probably be using an allen head bolt on this which are harder than grade eight all from the same man which he's got our respect and shit so i'm gonna measure that we'll get a bolt get back to work all right so we're back from the hardware store we got a little crimp metal lock and nut <coughs> better than a nylon won't you know you nylon that little nylon shit will go bad and there's our shoulder bolt and that's gonna tie everything together now it's gonna get everything to fit really snug so that's version two and yeah, well version one only lived about eight hours so hopefully this is better dude all right well it's done as you can see we all feel a little bit better about that and there's enough red loctite in there to fill uh fill a pretty good gap i would normally make a really crude joke here but i got nothing but that's how you should fix it if you're gonna do it totally recommend it so back to the regular ending y'all probably should have been here for so thanks but we've been rambling it up take care as always guys thanks for watching see you the next one bye bye see you later bye